Thank you so much. Neo Raga Rock. Uh, yeah, something like that. I guess. Uh, uh, I, uh, I try to try. I actually try to avoid labels. Where are you well, from? Originally? Yeah. Milwaukee. Really? 
So, yeah. um, do you know Laverne and Shirley? No, <laughs> no, we hated that show back then. No, sure. Our little happy days, all that. You know, I mean, yeah. when I was growing up, we hated watching. So you were that like the stuff. anti that. Yeah, I mean, you know, I look at those shows in that '70s show and everything. You know, uh, '70s in Wisconsin, where yeah. you know, when I grew up, that wasn't what it was. You know, <laughs> you know television. I mean, it ruins you know, everything. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's it's you know, it's uh, you know. Everything I've ever, you know, they've pretty much been lying to me consistently for all over a half a century. Well, so obviously you didn't forget. listen, so what happened? Yeah, you well, play this thing now. Like, yeah, I do this. I don't. And how do you do this? this um, yeah, there, uh, there's different there's ways to do it. Five strings, it's, yeah, it's, uh, and then you got the sympathetic. Yeah, there's uh, so, uh, six main strings, and then uh, some the rest of sympathetics. Okay. Yeah, and uh, this is called a dilruba. It's from oh. India. It's a cousin of the sitar, so to speak. And I, uh, oh. I also oh. play sitar. India? No, actually, Did I you have to. Yeah, I put a pickup on there because okay. I have. Yeah. I mean, I have to. Do right. It so, what scale? What scale are you tuned in? Um, I both my dilruba and my sitars chromatically, so that I can easily. Uh, change from uh, one tonality to another, although that's definitely not the uh, traditional. So, do you way. have perfect pitch? Uh, I can hear things pretty good, but uh, when did you realize that that you had that? Oh, I don't know. What was the first instrument you played? Obviously, because, yeah, the first instrument I played was guitar, oh. and uh, I, you know. No, 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 no. No, I. Uh, okay. No, I mean, that, you know, when I was a little boy, when I grow up to be just like Jimi Hendrix. Ah, okay. And I still do in some ways. He was just saying he knew Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Cafe Long. Oh man. People knew him he that. came back transformed. Yeah. After he went to England. London. Oh yeah. Eighth Street like yeah. a Christmas tree. I saw him at the He's in my albums in the in the record store. Alright. You know, he, he made his mark on history. Oh, he sure did. He made his mark on all of us. So he was your inspiration. He was my first inspiration. And then uh, as I grew older, I started, obviously, Robbie Shankar. Okay. Um, nice. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I, I uh, studied with one of his former students, John Coltrane. Big ah, influence on me. You studied uh, with him? Uh, no, uh, no, one of, one of John, his students. Oh, one of one John, of Shankar's former students. John Coltrane? Uh, no, not John ah, Coltrane. Was it John Coltrane. John oh, Coltrane was an influence. I never met Coltrane. Uh, I met a few people that knew him. Right, that and, happens. Uh, it's the, those I uh, even yeah. jammed with a few people that, uh, that uh, knew Coltrane. Jim McGuinn said that the solo on Eight Miles High was totally influenced by John Oh, Coltrane. yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. And um, I'd, uh, I did play a few times with Ornette Coleman. Okay. And uh, I'd uh, done some things with, uh, with other people, Lauren Hill. Uh, ah, Miss Hill um, to me. I met her once. Yeah. yeah. Are you allowed to call her anything else? Uh, I called her Laura. You did? She was okay with that? I'm Dawood. Uh, that's true. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Dawood. Yeah, no, you know, no, no, Dawood is just fine. Dawood is fine. She's the but, most beautiful person. She's she like, is a very nice woman. Very nice woman. I had the craziest, weirdest thing. Yeah, I was in the studio with her a number of times. But, uh, oh, yeah, she's, she's, like, she's a nice woman. She's nice woman. such an amazing and, talent. And um, I don't know. I, I, I can't even remember another. With, uh, wow, so alumni so, uh, that, that played with people. When did you start playing these? Uh, well, sitar, I bought my first sitar on my 18th birthday, which is more oh. years ago than I care to mention. But it, but, it was, <laughs> but it was pretty quickly after the guitar. It wasn't that long. Well, I started on guitar when I was 10. I started on sitar and bass guitar when I was 18. Uh, this, I bought this about uh, 15 years ago, I think. And, uh, I saw it in uh, one of these in a music store. Oh, they're still there. They're still there. Uh, no, they're gone. Uh, oh, I'm talking about the one that has all the stringed instruments hanging. But got... East Sixth Street is Not a perfect Sixth place Street. because as soon as you yeah. started playing, we wanted some Indian. That's right. Oh, really? We were yeah, thinking yeah. of what we wanted to order. Yeah, yeah. 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 There's yeah. a couple. I mean, I've been yeah. time sitting in those windows to push us in the car. Sooner or later, you're going to end up playing in the Indian restaurants. How cool. Do you know Maxine Schreiber? Huh? Maxine Schreiber, she does she's that percussion. Has not yet been mine. Percussion play. Did you have show? Um, I've got a few things happening. On uh, I believe a week from Friday, I'm going to be at a place with my group, uh, Renegade Sufi, uh, Tommy Jazz. And a week from today, 
uh, next Wednesday, I'm going to uh, be conducting a music meditation session. Oh, where's that? Yeah, uh, at a place called the Three Jewels Yoga Center. Oh, I know uh, that place on yeah, 4th Avenue. Exactly. I it's, love uh, that place. Yeah, and um, basically what I've been started doing is that I uh, to, uh, to uh, lead these guided meditations, but rather than suggested imagery, I use musical form. You know, I mean, I, I and I, I take elements from all kinds of music, oh, Indian rock, and jazz. I've had uh, training in jazz, I've wow. had, including some uh, master classes with Pat Martino and Yusef Latif. That, yeah. Do you and, feel uh, that music is a good therapy? Absolutely. absolutely. Medicinal application to music. In fact, uh, um, the guys that introduced me to uh, master musicians of Jajuka, um, they're a. Uh, uh, nice. Uh, they, uh, yeah, they're they're essentially a, a group of Sufi musicians who have been passing leadership from for about uh, eight hundred years, and uh, that's they it? told me, yeah, that's all. And uh, they uh, they've been their leader Bashir Attar told me that uh, in their village, uh, they you know, people come to them who are sick um, or crazy or possessed by demons, and they they cure them. His father, uh, when he was the leader, they cured a man of, of cancer using nothing but music. I believe and it. I started studying those old traditions and trying to figure out how to uh, incorporate them in both a blend of the... Which is, you know, why these days I'm no longer really concerned with styles or genres. The only thing yeah. that really interests me is the psychoactive properties of music. And, um, you know, when I play this set of tonalities, the effect of it, what is the result of this melody, how does this rhythm change the consciousness or even the functions of the human body, and, uh, and I'm starting to get that down to a science and then throw it out in the world. I'm also an author, too. Right. Right. Uh, I uh, wrote a Sufi science fiction novel. Um, it's, a, it's called A Quantum Hijra, and uh, you know, I, I don't want to take up too much time, but well, my website... Yes, RenegadeSufi.com. I know about Sufi. You yeah. may know my shrink. There you go. Well, yeah, there and, 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 and in, in accordance to all you spoke about, you know, it is National Fluff Another Day. Oh, my goodness. So I hope you will try. Do you remember Normally Fluff I wouldn't, others? but I will not. Do you remember oh, them as a kid? Oh, God, and, God. and we need a, a skeleton from your closet. All right, you need a skeleton yeah, from my something, closet. Something not so peaceful and tranquil, so but lovely. something all right. that gave you some right. stripes on your arm. Okay, I got, I got, I got some scars on me. Yeah. Um, when I was about 20 years old, uh, I was uh, touring with this touring in Wisconsin with this rock band. I was playing guitar. It was like a hard rock band, progressive rock and whatnot. And uh, like an idiot, I took some acid before I went on stage. And what I <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happened. What I played didn't quite fit with uh, hard rock. What I played would have worked with Sun Ra or uh, Albert Ayler or somebody like that. And um, the guys in the band were really pissed at me. And after the show, they uh, they dumped me in this outside of Milwaukee. And I went in there, and I knew the park really well, but it never looked like that before. And uh, I got lost. And uh, somehow, at the time, I was uh, studying the works of Aleister Crowley, who was the first spiritual teacher whose works I uh, followed. Uh, I somehow or other got it into my head that I had summoned the devil there by accident, and there was this huge, raging, powerful, malignant presence that was directing all of its attention at me, saying, well, what do you want? <laughs> and they told you this. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> they, tried to keep me, they, tried to, they tried to keep me away from that. So just it's tell us your website one more time. Okay. How do you spell Sam, Ulysses, Frank... Irving, and uh, you can uh, contact me directly at renegadesufi at gmail.com, and I'll be happy to answer all your and questions, you're on put Facebook. you on my emailing. Yeah, everybody is on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, we'll definitely. have it on our page, and please come back. I will, oh, more. yeah, I'd love to. Thank, thank you so much you. for, uh, for uh, oh, having me here. So thank much. you for uh, whatever this thing is. It's going to give me the best yeah. right. yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.
What's that you say?